I'm fighting off the sudden temptation to do this in slow-mo for you, but I think it will be much more useful this way. Okay, so very basic things. Piano turns on right here, this handy little button. Um, volume right here, down and up. Um, if you should have to record anything, just find the last disc that I recorded on. It will have this handy little sign on it because um, I'm recording for you for July 18. Um, so just take that tag off and make another one. So here's the disc. The disc goes all the way down to the right hand side and in the little thingy. Just leave it to sit and think for a moment. It's definitely cutting edge technology. Okay, so it's done thinking. You don't have to worry about how to play it unless you're gonna just play it back. But the next thing you'll do is you'll come, so here's your screen, just slide over to the right here where you've got this light and this red button. So you're gonna push the red button and it switched the screen over to record. It just toggles back and forth between the main screen and record when you push, so the red button, just push it and record. Okay, so now it's gonna record song one. Quick record is definitely the easiest to do. Um, these cute little keys here are how you scroll from song one, two, three. You'll only have to do three on any given week when you're gone because this other disc over right here has all the liturgy on it, um, the offering song, communion, whatever they need, it's on that one. So you don't have to worry about that, just the three hymns. All right, so this one is set up to record um, on song one. It's just, I'll, I'll randomly start playing. And you'll see it starts very slowly counting. You play your song, yeah. then you just come back over here and push the red button again. It will say, now saving. Okay, and then it saved your song. You will push this one, I think. Yep, go to song two. And then you've got to toggle back again. And again. So you push the red button twice, and now it's ready to record on track two. Uh, let's see. So you see it's recording there. So we'll stop it. I'm gonna push the red button. Now it's saving. Okay, and then I've got to push the red button twice. Now it's back on record. And I put it up on song three, record song three, push the red button to stop it. So if you have any questions, call me, but should you have to record, that is how you do it. It's not super hard, it just takes a little getting used to. And later on I'll, I'll record how to do the service for you.